In this illustration, we intend to simulate the ballistic impact of a spherical projectile against an aluminum plate in the Abacus software. In this question, the spherical projectile will be modeled in rigid form and the plate is made of aluminum AA5083 H116. In these pictures, the spherical projectile piercing into the aluminum plate can be observed. Actually, we intend uh, to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Numerical Simulation of Ballistic Impact on Aluminum uh, 5083. H116 plate with Johnson Cook plasticity model. I intend uh, to create a geometric shape of projectile. Here I'll select 3D, deformable, solid, and revolution. Enter approximate size equal to 0 0.1 and continue. Here I'll draw a semicircle. As explained in the article, the projectile is in form of a sphere with a diameter equal to uh, 10, 10 millimeters. I will enter the radius of a semicircle equal to 0 0.005 meters. Done. Enter the angle of rotation equal to 360 degrees and OK. Select solid and homogeneous. Continue. Here select aluminum material and OK. I'll click on Assign Section, select Plate, Done. Here, select Aluminum Section and OK. I'll click on Assign Section, select the Sphere, Done, and select Steel Section. In this manner, the projectile is made of steel and plate is made of aluminum. In the next step, I'll enter Assembly Module, click on uh, Create Instance, Enter both parts of projectile and plate into the assembly section. Click on seed parts and enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.5 millimeters. Then click on mesh part and yes. and enter the initial velocity of projectile equal to uh, 1247 meters per second and OK
In the next step, we intend to draw the diagram of projectile's velocity. I click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and Continue. Here, I'll select the projectile's velocity and click on Save As. Here, you observe the diagram of projectile's velocity. Here, the initial velocity is 1,247 meters per second, and the residual velocity is equal to 883.6 meters per second. If we refer to article, we will notice that the residual velocity of projectile is equal to 861 meters per second. Actually, the residual velocity obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 883, and the residual velocity obtained from the article is equal to 861 meters per second. As you observe, the results obtained from the Alcas software are close to those mentioned in the article. I will write down a residual. I will write down the residual velocity in the Excel file. In the next step, I will enter the velocity of projectile equal to 1,166 meters per second. And OK. I'll enter job module. Click on create. In the next step, we intend to draw the diagram of the projectile's velocity. As you observe, the initial velocity of projectile is 1,166 meters per second and the residual velocity is equal to 792 meters per second. Here we intend to compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those mentioned in the article. The residual velocity obtained from the article is equal to 769 meters per second and the ultimate velocity obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 792 meters per second. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are close to those mentioned in the article.
In the next step, we, I will enter the velocity of projectile equal to 995 meters per second. Here I'll draw the diagram of the projectile's velocity. As it can be observed, the initial velocity of projectile is equal to 995 meters per second and its residual velocity is equal to 583 meters per second. The residual velocity obtained from the article is 538 meters per second and the residual velocity obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 583 meters per second. I will write down the quantity of residual velocity here. 